Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're in San Francisco today. We're picking up where we left off. Uh, we left off in San Francisco last episode. Uh, we finally managed to get the uh, Space Center researched out, which is great. My God, look at this view of San Francisco. It's a beautiful city. It's actually turned out really well. I'm really pleased with the way that San Francisco has turned out. Uh, we're going to spend some time today in Sip City. We're going to spend a whole bunch of time today in Sip City. We're going to raise the money that we need uh, to get the great work site up and running uh, with the Space Center and uh, hopefully increase some of the density in Sip City as well uh, because it needs it and we can probably fart around with some other stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can see the solar farm from here and the and the massive airport as well. Holy shit. Okay, great. Let's not waste any time. Let's go straight over there. Oh, look at the Willis Tower. Look at so prominently right in the middle of the city. There's all this space as well in San Francisco that we can still use that we haven't used yet, but that's okay. Fine. We're going to go to Sip City. We're going to load. Sip City. Here we come. We were born to rock and roll in Sip City along with uh, Bon Jovi and occasionally, when Bon Jovi is feeling a little bit sick, uh, Def Leppard, who is always more than willing to step in uh, for Bon Jovi. Great. Okay, let's get into uh, Cheetah Speed so that everything is uh, is pumping, pumping as fast as it can. We're going to make uh, a ton of money. As soon as we have around a million or just over a million, uh, we'll, we'll funnel that out. To the great work site and see how that works i'm not quite sure how it works in the meantime let's try to get some more uh, stuff built uh, in this uh, in this city that'd be great uh like some commercial i guess do we need some commercial we need some uh we need some high wealth commercial uh it looks like there's a little bit of local demand for medium wealth residential as well uh which we could maybe uh try to uh, can you actually place stuff along these roads no okay these are just like service roads for uh, the Expo uh, Center, the Expo sta Pro Stadium, sorry. It's not even an Expo Center, it's a Pro Stadium. A very sorry Pro Stadium, obviously taking great offense to that. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, look at this! Jesus, what the heck is going on in this city? It's so bad! Why is everything abandoned and people are moving out? They couldn't find shops or parks nearby. Okay, fine, we might need to sort this out then. Uh, we're gonna need to build some... Oh, there's one right here, full of undesirables, apparently. Look at all the undesirables. Okay, let's knock down some of these abandoned buildings. And let's try to sort this out for these people. We'll try to sort out some parks and some shops. Uh, how do we need uh, some low wealth uh, commercial locally as well as uh, internationally too? Okay, fine. Well, we can maybe uh, do something about that. Let's try to get uh, a little block of commercial in and amongst uh, this so that these people actually have somewhere to shop. Uh, that that might be nice. That might be a nice thing. I can't believe the population is 160,000 in Sip City, and it's no way as uh, as dense as San Francisco, as we can see in the skyline over there. Uh, not nearly as many high-rises in this city, uh, yet still more population. I guess we're packing them into this. Like, look at this. Leaving this town, it's full of death, tenderloin apartments. Uh, what about these people? El Dorado Tower, doing well. Great. Uh, abandoned. Oh, we do have some commercial here. Uh, it's just not, uh, uh, we actually have a full block of commercial here. Uh, and it's saying that they don't have shoppers. <laughs> and uh, these people are saying that there's no shopping nearby, or they can't get to the shopping, uh, and, and that's why they're leaving town. What a bunch of confused bastards. Holy shit. Sip City is just full of uh, confused bastards. Uh, okay, fine. Do we have any residential demand? Just the medium wealth residential. Uh, so, can we place some more commercial along here then? Possibly, maybe? Make these people happy? Will they be happy? They're like digging into the side of the hills. Jesus. Uh, San Francisco's patrol cars are helping uh, fight crimes in Sip City now, apparently, as well. Uh, which is not a bad thing. It's probably pretty good. Uh, oh, shit. Do we have garbage problems? Oh, my God. We've got some serious garbage problems. We have no recycling being collected. Uh, we also are only collecting... 
7,980 cans of garbage out of like 10,300. We may need to do something about that. What can we possibly do? I mean, we don't want to have a garbage dump in this city. We don't want the pollution. Uh, we might have to, though. We might actually have to handle our own garbage in this city. Uh, and then have the recycling uh, come in from Sipsville. Because it, there's no point in having just a million garbage dumps in Sipsville, is there? I mean... We could maybe just build it down here. It doesn't really matter. This part of town is, like, kind of crappy already anyway. Nobody's living down here. It's certainly not any, like, high wealth or anything. So, uh, should we, should we just get a garbage dump? Reopen a garbage dump down here? We've got the space for it. We can build an incinerator and, um, uh, and start belching up a ton of fumes, uh, into the, uh, atmosphere. Uh, God, it's a tricky one. It's a very tricky one. Do we want to have it at the end of the runway? No, we're not going to be able to build an incinerator there. All right, we're going to have to do this, I think. We'll stop importing uh, garbage from Sipsville. And uh, we'll start handling our own garbage in Sip City. Because it, it, otherwise, we're just going to have like a million dumps in Sipsville. And, it, and it's, it's kind of useless. Uh, okay, fine. And we want to make sure that people are as happy as they can be in this uh, city. So, fine, let's do it. There, we've got a garbage dump back. There's now garbage coverage available for neighbors as well, apparently, uh, if 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 they want that. Okay, let's uh, let's get an incinerator online straight away. Uh, let's get some garbage trucks. I don't think we need like that many. Maybe just like a couple. Uh, well, that's pretty much all we can place. Is that going to knock down the runway if I pl place this here? I can't tell. <laughs> and that's the truth. Uh, no, okay, I can actually place those there uh, without knocking down the runway. Fine, we'll have them across the road here. 5,000 bucks, let's just get two more just in case. And perfecto, great. Oh, we're making use of the space, that's for sure. Uh, okay, great, we're collecting garbage from the city, which means that we no longer need to uh, go to the region. We don't need to do anything uh, with Sipsville anymore. We don't need to uh, have garbage trucks coming over here, even though there still are. When we go back to Sipsville, we'll need to make sure that we're not sending any garbage trucks over uh, to Sip City because it should be okay to handle its own garbage now. And it's just down here in the corner. Uh, it'll probably create a little bit of pollution, but hopefully it'll just waft down this away into San Francisco and we don't have to worry about it in, in Sip City. Great. Okay. Perfect. Well, one problem, hopefully somewhat solved. Uh, recycling uh, is another matter. <laughs> I don't know if we have any recycling trucks coming in from Sipsville, but yet we should. Uh, but I'm not sure if we do. Okay, fine. We can check after. Uh, let's knock... Oh, look at these. Out of money. Fucking out of money. Out of money again. Uh, this one's for sale. We'll just tear it down anyway. And what's this? Out of money. Lots of people running out of money. Why are they running out of money? We may never know. Is it because the taxes are too high? Um, let's bring them down to 11% for the low wealths then. Uh, which makes us 2,500 uh, in the green. Maybe just bringing them down that 1% will, will mean that they'll have a little bit more money and some more jobs and stuff. Hopefully. God. How did this commercial do? Oh, shit. We just got like a bunch of shitty like gas stations. Look. Trustworthy mics. What the hell do they do at trustworthy mics? Oh, listen to the music. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, holy shit. I just want to spend all my time at trustworthy mics now. That's fantastic. Um, do we want to do something with the old windmill? Look at the little windmill. Look at this. Look at the little baby windmill. It doesn't even twirl or anything. How many people are visiting this? Holy shit. It made 26 grand yesterday. It's not too bad. Oh my god, there's a lot of people visiting this little baby windmill, and I'm quite surprised by that, actually. I wasn't expecting uh, people to actually visit uh, the windmill. Uh, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Okay, great. Um, let's try to get some more uh, stuff built. Can we connect these roads? Oh, look at this crappy connection. Look at this crappy road connection. It's going to be a pretty bad one, I think. Uh, although, it does connect uh, to the neighborhood. Uh, gets onto this feeder avenue and means that we can potentially place some... What do we need? Uh, we need commercials still. Okay, fine. Let's get some commercial in here then. If that's what they want. Oh shit, what's that? What's that get being made? Oh shit, it's like a medium wealth too. My god, I don't think we need any of that. Uh, probably placed it in the worst possible spot, but that's okay. Uh, 
the more the better, I guess. It just means more tax money. We're still hovering at about 2,500 bucks an hour, which is very good. We're uh, gunning for a million, uh, and maybe we need to start thinking about scheduling events. How are we doing with tourists? Do we have tons of tourists coming in? 580 tourist arrivals. Uh, and do we have our tourists coming in here? 711 a day on the ferry terminal. Okay, not bad. Uh, do we want to try to schedule another event and see if we can make some money off of this? What about a monster truck rally? Look, it's going to cost us 150000 but we may make a profit of 300000 Man, everybody lo loves a monster truck rally too. And especially if Bon Jovi is actually driving all of the monster trucks, like, single-handedly. Holy shit. That would be a monster truck rally to remember. I think we'll do it. Uh, I'll do it. There we go. Monster truck rally. Uh, which is, of course, going to start in... Oh, uh, no. It's scheduled for tomorrow. Fuck. I thought that it was going to try to start in, like, uh, 10 minutes time. Uh, in which we had no uh, hope whatsoever of packing out uh, the uh, pro stadium. But, no. Thankfully, it's smart enough to schedule it for tomorrow, which is great. Okay. Perfect. Police. Crime apparently has the upper hand. That's not a good thing. Uh, there's a lot of crims in Sip City. Holy shit, look at all the crims. Look at it. It's like a... Oh my god. It's like a festering cesspool of criminal activity. Look at all this shit. My god. Shoplifting. There's crimes everywhere. Look, all the police are following each other around. It's like that... Uh, it's like that police academy uh, movie, Citizens on... Oh my god. Look at this hot spot. Too many homeless around. This field is attracting lots of homeless people. Uh, which is not very good. We're going to have to get in there and clean it all up at some point. Uh, not now, though. Shit, look at my god. The money per hour in this city has just dropped, like, big time. I don't know what's happened there. Maybe it's something to do with uh, the um, tourism. I wonder how the Eiffel Tower is holding out. 11,000 uh, bucks yesterday, which is not too bad. The Dutch windmill is still packing them in ahead of the Eiffel Tower, if you can believe that. Uh, which is... Uh, it, it's because the uh, Dutch windmill is more established. That's why. Uh, there's like set tours around the city that stop off at the Dutch windmill. Of course, we've only just built the Eiffel Tower. So none of the tour guides or anything are ready to quite uh, start visiting the Eiffel Tower yet. So it's just left to people to find their own way there. And that's why it's not as visited. Even though it's like this prominent landmark in the city right now. And uh, of course, you'd probably want to come here to see this over the Dutch windmill, I would have thought. Maybe? I don't know. It depends on what your preference is. I mean, personally, I would probably go to the Eiffel Tower over the Dutch windmill, or maybe I would try to get the double whammy and I would try to get uh, a tour of the Eiffel Tower as well as Dutch windmill. <music> on separate days, you can only visit one landmark a day if you're visiting a city. That's like the rule of thumb. Uh, otherwise, you just have like a complete overdose of landmarks and you feel a bit sick because it's, it's just too much, um, too much tourism in one day. It's not the best. Um, God, can we shut this thing down now? 99 passengers a day. It's in the worst part of town. Pencil dick, do it. Just shut it down. We don't need it. <laughs> it's doing nothing. We're, it's in the wrong part of town. We're going to have to replace this somewhere else. Fine. Pencil dick, done. It's closed. It's closed and we're going to knock it down. We're going to get Paint Sniffer in here with Killdozer and he's just going to knock it right down. I'll do it. We're going to have to replace it. It's got to go somewhere else. Uh, we can use this space maybe a bit more uh, efficiently now as well up here. God, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dead zone in Sip City up here with all the hills and stuff. It's not the best. Uh, okay, great. Wow. Holy shit. We're back up to 9,000 bucks an hour, which is very good. Are we packing people into this yet? No, not yet. It's not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. Uh, but everybody is uh, super excited for the Monster Truck Rally. Trust me. Uh, everybody was talking about it last night on their way home from work. It was all over the radio. Everybody's going crazy. Um, Man, I don't know. There's uh, like parts of the city that just look like really sparse for some reason. I think like we didn't these aren't, like, far enough back or something? Or maybe we need some more parks? I, I don't know. How happy are these people? And actually, what's our approval rating right now? Residential and commercial happiness is on the rise. We're at 69% approval rating, uh, which isn't terrible. I don't think we've been able to upgrade this at all, uh, ever. Have we made... It's level 4. What do we actually have on it? Do we have, uh, like, Mordecai and stuff? I don't think we do. Is he there? No. And there's people out here protesting as well. What the hell are they protesting about? Bastards. Look, they just keep running back inside as well. Was it say the people are protesting because too much garbage? Oh, okay, well, 
I mean, they won't be protesting for long, because hopefully we're going to collect a ton of garbage. Look at all the garbage we have in here already. Uh, we're not incinerating it fast enough. Look, we're going to be, like, completely overburdened fairly soon. Uh, oh, look at collection so far. It's only noon, and already we're, like, over halfway there with garbage collection. Fine. Some of these people will start uh, feeling happier once we collect a massive backlog of garbage from their front yard. I'm sure of it. Okay, great. Uh, these people want me to build factories in this city. We spent a lot of time getting rid of all the industry in this city, so we're probably not going to do that. Uh, we're creeping back up. 779,593 bucks. It looks like the monster truck rally is starting to pack them in. Uh, will we be able to pack it out? That'd be great. My god. Making like 300,000 bucks would be uh, utterly fantastic. It would mean that we could actually get the space center set up. Um, I think we have more of a chance of doing it uh, in Sip City than we do in San Francisco at the moment. That's why we're spending uh, our time in Sip City today. What the hell? The garbage dump is already almost full. Are you serious? Oh my god. We're running out of... Oh, Jesus. We're going to have to get uh, another expansion here. <laughs> Jeez, we need another dump zone. Can you believe it? We're going to have to build a road out here, I think. Oh, no, we can't build the road there. Uh, can we build it, like, back here? And can we build uh, another dump zone behind the... What's this? The fire station? Oh, they're not going to be too happy about that. Uh, can we get another incinerator in? We might need uh, some dual incinerator action to uh, to clear through this backlog. Jesus, how much is this doing right now? It doesn't really tell you. Um, let's try another incinerator and see if it if it does anything. My god, I can't believe how much fucking trash we're creating in this city. It's nuts. Uh, let's see if we can burn through this big stockpile of garbage. Is it burning through it? Yeah, it's burning through it. Look at how quickly it's going down. Holy shit, we've already burnt, like, what, in the space of an hour, like, four tons of garbage? My god, that's not going to bode very well for San Francisco. There's a lot of shit clouds coming their way. Uh, sound the alarm. <laughs> San Francisco, evacuate quickly. There's a lot of shit clouds coming your way. Evacuate the city. No, no. Okay, fine. I don't think my mom's going to be too pleased about that. Uh, she thinks that my um, city management skills are like subpar uh, because hers are like phenomenal. Like she's really good at this game. I think she's like on the pro circuit for um, SimCity now. She's been playing it so much and just like getting really good at it. Look at these traffic jams. These are a little bit of a problem. Uh, do we have streetcar stops or bus stops and stuff in this area of town? I don't think we do anymore. I think we got rid of all of them. Holy shit. Look at all the people trying to pack into the Houstonian. Uh, they don't like that garbage was piled up, but... By the sounds of it, we got rid of all the garbage, which is great. Oh, look at this. Okay, two incinerators is doing the job. Have we collected all the garbage? Not quite. Uh, it's 9 p.m. We just managed to collect, uh, whoa, we got 8,311 out of 12,894. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit better. Uh, the event is active. We've got 5,180 people packed into the pro stadium. Lots of empty seats. Current payout is minus 46,400, which is not the best. Uh, but we're back up to 846,891 bucks, which is very good. Uh, great. And it continues to grow. And that's because we're uh, making a whopping 10,581 bucks an hour off of all of our uh, tourism and stuff, uh, which is very good. We, uh, we probably need to get a rail connection reinstated uh, in this stupid city, uh, but it needs to go somewhere sensible and not just, like, out in the middle of nowhere. It the, I mean, the train station could do with being, like, down here somewhere, but fuck, we're going to have to extend the tracks, like, all the way down through the city, and it's going to cause, like, huge traffic jams and other uh, massive problems. I don't know if there's, like, a better way of doing it, possibly, maybe. God, look at all this shit. Not enough workers, couldn't find shops or parks, out of money, out of money. Oh my god, there's so many abandoned buildings. Couldn't find shops or parks. This one is just jam-packed full of homeless people. How can we sort this out? How can, can we, do we just demolish it? How many homeless people are actually in here right now? None, apparently. <laughs> That's great. There are no homeless people in here. Uh, Apparently, well, it looks like there are a whole bunch of them. Look at this. This guy's not wearing any pants. Uh, a lot of them have, like, gentleman top hats and uh, and aren't wearing pants. Uh, there's 124 residents and 29 kids in the park. Don't see any of the kids. In fact, most of these guys look fairly homeless. Uh, but there's no statistic uh, against the park to say 
uh, that that's the case. So we can only assume that there's 124 uh, homeless men, grown men, and 29 homeless kids in this park, uh, which is no good uh, for anyone. It's just not, not the best. There's way too many homeless people around, and people are getting pissed about it. And we've got a million bucks in the bank now. Great. Um, should we just, like, improve uh, this neighborhood? Do we need all of these uh, low-wealth jobs and stuff now still? Should we go into the detail tab and take a look? Uh, how many total jobs? Oh, my God. Unfilled jobs. Okay. So we have zero unfilled uh, low-wealth jobs. So I wonder if maybe we can uh, convert, like, a part of this area into medium wealth. We've got 355 unfilled medium wealth jobs. Uh, so yeah, maybe we do need to do that. Where is, uh, is there any low wealth part of town up here? No, this is all, should all be, oh yeah, this is low wealth. It should be medium wealth up here. Okay, well we can, we can fix this area of town then a little bit. We'll put some parks in and stuff. See what the, uh, land value is like. Oh yeah, okay, there's a whole area here just with no land value whatsoever. Okay, fine. Let's get some sports parks in then. Medium skate park. Oh, this will be a good one. We'll get a medium skate park right here. We'll knock down all these houses just to put it in. Uh, and then, straight away, we'll expand it as well and shove a tennis court next to it. Or do we want a, ba oh, a basketball court? Even better. Okay, we're going to get a basketball court shoved right next to it here. Uh, if we could place this a little bit better, it would be nice. Like, maybe like that. That doesn't look very nice, but it'll do, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, how is that done? That's done a little bit better. Okay, great. These people are now uh, medium wealth, which is good. Uh, Westgate Tower is saying that they need more shops soon or they'll leave. And uh, Drafty Towers, which is right next door, claims that there are great places to shop nearby. So uh, a little bit of a discrepancy there between Westgate Tower and Drafty Towers. Uh, why? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe they drafty towers. Oh, no, now none of them. E everyone's gone. Look, they've just decided to upgrade uh, entirely into uh, better people or, or whatever. Higher higher class people. What? They've gone one class up. Ontario North. No money. Moving out soon. Why? They're educated, but they have no money, no jobs. I'm guessing that's because of the 355 unfulfilled jobs, maybe? Is that why they ran out of money? Like, Or, or there's... Or, or there's not any jobs now that they have nowhere to work? Oh, look, these people are fairly happy. Even though people are dying all over the place, apparently. How are we doing? Three deaths per day. Is the hospital overburdened at all? No. 18 patients being treated uh, with uh, capacity for 59. That should be fine. Uh, okay. Well, we'll save up a little bit more money. Uh, and then when it's fairly safe, well... Now nah, let's just do it now. We're going to do it now. We're going to send a million over to this great work site and start on the Space Center. Fuck, this is going to be great. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. Space Center. Oh, look at this. This sprawling compound requires high-tech resources from cities in the region. With the Space Center constructed, mayors in the region will reap the benefits of a more skilled workforce, resulting in more high-tech industry. Satellites will launch every few days, which draw tourists to the surrounding cities. Very good. Oh my god. Uh, it's going to cost us 300 bucks an hour, apparently, and uh, a million bucks to fund it. And now, if we do it from Sip City, uh, does that mean that we need to have all the resources in Sip City? Uh, I don't know if that's the case. Who takes that 300 bucks an hour? Is it every city in the region? I don't know. We're going to find out because we're going to build it with a million bucks. It's going to cost us... That's not bad, actually. Holy shit. Imagine that. Million bucks for a space center in real life? I mean, Jesus. I mean, almost anyone. If, like, you and a bunch of your friends just got together and said, put all your money in, we're making a space center, you could totally fucking do it. A million bucks. I mean, come on. You just need, what, like, maybe 20 people? Like, all their life savings combined? Maybe a million bucks? Possibly? Who knows? Okay, fine. We're, go we're gonna do it. Build it. Great work site. Application being processed. This could take a few minutes. We'll alert you when it's approved. What the fuck? Permit to build has been submitted. Stamping approval. Wow. This is something else. Look at this. Permit to build has been submitted. Do I have to, like, upload documents and, like, my driver's license and stuff just so, like, that it'll be approved? Or I, w I wonder what this is actually doing right now. Permit to build has been cutting red tape, apparently. The red tape is being cut. I'm not sure if this is really necessary, actually. This, this whole 
sort of system for <laughs> submitting an approval for a great work. What the fuck? I don't get this. Oh, it's fighting bureaucracy now. This is great. Okay, good. God, this is like, this is better than watching Ultimate Fighting Championship. Holy shit. This is just riveting stuff. Look, it cutting, fighting bureaucracy once again. Oh my god, there's lots of fighting going on. Okay, fine. Uh, let's leave that doing its thing then. I guess uh, we, we have like some sort of crazy, uh, I don't know, process to go through, which may take a little while. Uh, okay, great. We'll go back to the city then, and we'll wait till we're notified. It's going to notify us, apparently. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, at least uh, at least that's that. We've uh, sent the money over there to the site, and, and then we'll find out how we actually send resources and stuff over there after. It looks like next episode we'll probably spend some time in Sipsville. Um, we haven't spent any time in Sipsville since the one-hour mega super episode 40 live stream. Uh, so it'll be interesting to go back and sort out some of the stuff there. We need to start gathering a bunch of resources. Uh, we could do with making some money in Sipsville as well. I think currently San Francisco is the richest city in the region, so if we need to borrow some money, it'll be from them. Uh, it's going to take a little while for Sip City to get back on its feet, although in saying that, it's already back up to 114000 in the bank, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, man, we need uh, we just need tourism in this city. We need more tourism. We need to pack out this pro stadium, and then we've just got like a, you know, like a, just, just a right to... Or, or like a money tree. Think of it like that. That's right. A money tree growing in your backyard. And you can just pluck delicate $1 bills off each branch every day or every minute of the day if you want. Uh, okay. Well, uh, local businesses are preparing. There's a robber coming from Sipsville apparently, which is not the best. I think, um, are we doing anything police-wise in Sipsville? Can't even remember. We're going to have to check next time. Uh, traffic is slightly bad. Tourism, 820 people arrived today in this big-ass airport. It's still not enough. Uh, and how did we do with garbage today? Uh, no better. We're going to need more garbage trucks. Holy shit, I can't fucking believe it. We've got 10 garbage trucks. Uh, we're going to have to build out the rest of these, I think, to capture the rest of this garbage. There we go. Look, got a full dump, fully operational. We could have never have done it from Sipsville, I don't think. I think it was definitely the right move to build a dump with two incinerators in, this, in, in Sip City, even though we got rid of it like a couple of episodes ago. Uh, we're finding out more and more now that region play is very, very difficult <laughs> in this game and maybe doesn't work as well as it should, but I'm sure they'll, they'll keep patching it and fixing it and stuff. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, wrap up there then. Uh, like I said, next episode, we'll probably spend some time in, uh, Sipsville. Uh, we finally managed to get this, uh, great work site up and running. I think it's still doing some, uh, I don't know, approval process or something. So we might have to wait and see. Uh, is it, is it through yet? Do we want to check? Is it still pending? It's been submitted and it's still pending. Okay, fine. Great. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Hopefully that gets uh, approved and then we can start building this space center uh, and it'll be pretty good. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.